Hello everyone, this is Enea here, and in today's tutorial I'll teach you how to create this impossible 3D toroidal polyhedron in Affinity Designer. The impossible 3D toroidal polyhedron is an optical illusion figure that has the shape of a donut, and it is made of six branches that are arranged in a way that would be impossible in real life. Alright, so to get started we go to File New and we create a new composition. We give it 2000 by 2000 pixels in dimensions and we click on create. And then we make sure that snapping, snap to grid and snap to object bounding boxes are enabled. And we can uncheck snap to spread as it might cause endurance on this particular project. And then we'll go to view, grid and axis. We check control grid. And then we we'll go to the advanced tab. So for this particular figure we're going to use an isometric grid. This is a grid that is made of rhombuses with the top and the bottom angle of 120 degrees and the left and the right angle of 60 degrees. We can just increase the spacing a bit to 100 pixels and click on close. And then we're going to start drawing the figure. So we take the pen tool, we set the fill to none, we leave the stroke as black, and we set the stroke width to one point. And then, somewhere in the middle of the composition, we go ahead and we create an hexagon. And each of the sides of the hexagon must be two grid units in length. And then we press on escape to unselect. And then we're going to create one of the branches of the figure and then duplicate it five times to have the rest of the figure. So each of the branches of the figure is made of five parallelograms Alright, so to get started to draw the first parallelogram, we start here, at the top left corner of the hexagon, and then we go here, to the bottom left corner of the hexagon, and then we go to the point here, so it's two grid units in an oblique direction, towards the top left, and then here, two grid units upwards, and then back to the starting point. So it is important that all of the parallelograms are closed, otherwise we won't be able to set a fill color to it. And then we press on escape to unselect, and we are going to draw the second parallelogram. So we start here, to the top left corner of the previous parallelogram. And then we go to the point here. And then we go here, two grid units towards the top right, in an oblique direction. And then here two grid units towards the top left, and then back to the starting point, and then we press on escape to unselect. So now we have the second parallelogram. And then for the third parallelogram, we start at the point here, the top point of the second parallelogram. And then we go here, to the point on its right. And then we go two grid units towards the top right, two grid units towards the top left, and then back to the starting point, and then we'll press on escape. And then for the fourth parallelogram, we start here at the point at the top, and then we'll go here to the point at the right, and then we'll go here, one grid units towards the right, and then we'll go here to the point here, and then back to the starting point, and then we'll press on escape to unselect, and then we're going to draw the fifth parallelogram. So we start at the point here, the top right point of the previous parallelogram. We go here to the point on its right. And then we we'll go here, two grid units towards the bottom right. And then we we'll go to the point here. And then back to the starting point. And then we take the move tool. So now we have created all five parallelograms that we need for the first branch. So what we are going to do is that in the Layers panel, we press on Shift and we select all five parallelograms. And then we press on Ctrl G to group them together. And then we go here to enable Transform Origin. We set the rotation center in the middle of the hexagon and we press on Enter to bring out the Move Duplicate panel. We check on Duplicate and we set the numbers of copy to five and the rotation angle to 60 degrees. And as you can see, this creates the rest of the figure. And then we're going to add some color to the figure. We're going to set the different branches to different shades of the same color. 
so we are going to make it as if the light comes from the top left side and the shadow is cast on the bottom right side. So we are going to start with a branch here at the top left and we are going to set its color to a lighter shade of green. And then we select the second branch on its right. We set its color to a shade of green just a bit darker. And then the third branch, we set it to a shade of green a bit darker. And then now the side here on the bottom right where the shade is going to be, we set it to a shade of green even darker. And then we're going to go lighter again. And then lighter again. And this gives the figure the illusion of lightning. Alright, so that was it for this tutorial. You learned how to create the impossible 3D toroidal polyhedron in Affinity Designer. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and learned something from it. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe for more Affinity Designer tutorials in the future. And until then, see you next time, bye!